take two, series marker. Hey, I'm Maggie. Hey, I'm Susan. Susan, very nice to meet you. Um, thanks for your time today. So what are you doing here at the Mag Lab? So this week we're running samples, some mm -hmm. of our drinking water samples, and we're looking specifically for new chemicals, unknown okay. chemicals that are formed when we have hydraulic fracturing impacts mm -hmm. on our drinking water. And so how do you determine what those unknown chemicals would be? There's a very special instrument here mm -hmm. called a mass spectrometer, and it's mm -hmm. a special kind of a mass spectrometer that gives us high resolution, okay. and that allows us to know exactly how many carbons, hydrogens, oxygens, whatever is in the molecules, yeah. and we can use that data to identify these okay. unknown chemicals. So what does that process look like when you put something into the mass spectrometer? So we have um, our drinking water extracts, we've mm -hmm. extracted them, we have this syringe that we load the syringe mm -hmm. and, it, and it has a pump behind it and pushes that syringe slowly to inject little bits of that extract uh -huh. as in methanol into the instrument. It kind of mm -hmm. sucks in the instrument and it goes into the big magnet and um, gives us the data we need. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and so is there any research being done like this? Like do you kind of have an idea or are you guys the first to do it? We are the first to do this okay. kind of work, actually. Um, there was an, a scientist earlier that got some more basic information mm -hmm. on these disinfection byproducts that are formed when we chlorinate that water. Mm -hmm. But we are, are looking at a lot of unknown chemicals. Nobody's okay. really looked at the other unknown chemicals okay. until we've done this recently. Yeah, yeah, and we're hoping this special instrument's gonna give mm -hmm. us a lot more in information than okay. we've gotten from other mass spectrometers. In fact, we know okay. we've already gotten really good data the last day and a half. Okay, yeah. very neat. And with hydraulic fracturing, where is that happening around the country? Now, where are some hot spots for that? All over. Huh. Of course, you probably hear about the Marcellus Shale. Um, yeah. yeah, It's like under New York and Ohio, Pennsylvania, other states mm -hmm. up there. But we're actually collecting the um, hydraulic fracturing wastewater from the Barnett Shale in Texas. Okay. But there are places all over the country where they're doing hydraulic fracturing now. So it's really important work then. <laughs> I think so. And what happens is, is the produce water that comes back out mm -hmm. of the fracking wells can go into our rivers, and if you're mm -hmm. in a city that's downstream, where that water's coming downstream yeah. into your drinking water supply, mm -hmm. it can impact your drinking water. So we're trying to figure out what are those impacts. Gotcha. All right, well, I think that's our time. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Again, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so it's great to have you here. I'm really excited to learn more about your research. I'm Jeremy Owens. Hey, I'm Susan Richardson. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me a little about what you do um, and why you're here mm -hmm. at the MagLab. So I'm an environmental chemist, and my research is centered around drinking water and trying to discover the unknown chemicals that we have that are formed when we treat our drinking water. And I'm coming here specifically for a couple of days to run our drinking water extracts to see, to try to find out some new unknown chemicals that we don't know what they are. And we're, we brought some water from South Carolina, normal drinking water from South Carolina. We're size fractionating that. And then we've also got some water from the Barnett Shale in Texas that's got hydraulic fracturing impacts. So we've taken that hydraulic fracturing wastewater, pretending we're like a drinking water treatment plant treating it, and looking for disinfection byproducts. So what kind of chemical compounds are these? Are these clearly doesn't sound like it's uh, elemental, but maybe more in terms of, of uh, aromatic compounds? or Some are aromatic. We found some iodophenols before. Um, they're definitely organic. We're looking at organic chemicals formed, and most of the ones we're interested in are brominated or iodinated, so they have bromines or iodines in their chemical structures, and we're really interested in those because those tend to be more toxic than other disinfection byproducts that have chlorine or, or that don't have halogens. So these are all disinfection byproducts, they're not uh, from, from wastewater that people are, are Correct, correct. Okay. But they're, they're formed, the hydraulic fracturing ones are formed from the fracking wastewaters that then can go downstream into our drinking water supplies. And those are very interesting because they have different organic matter precursors to form these DDPs because it's things coming up out of the ground. Oh, interesting. So is this, are any of these known to be harmful in terms of carcinogens or, or things like this? We have some data, some in vitro data, and mammalian cells are showing that some of these are extremely genotoxic, much more so than the chemicals that are regulated in drinking water. Well, that looks like our, our time, unfortunately. It was a great conversation, and I really look forward to hearing more about your research that you've done here at the MagLab. And if you do too, you should check out this link here.